you see a simple meter to measure inductance between 1 milli Henry and 100 milli Henry. Uh, I'll show the schematic later. In fact, it's this uh, sine wave generator. It's connected to a bridge with four uh, germanium diodes. They are here. The red with the red uh, code on it. And after that the signal is rectified and it goes into this meter. This is an old uh, multimeter that I've used for this application. Um, I have to say that only coils between 1 millihenry and 100 millihenry can be measured. Uh, coils beneath uh, 1 millihenry um, cannot be measured because this meter is not sensitive enough and above 100 um, the meter sees the inductance as infinite. This is the schematic. It's a sine wave generator. Uh, after that there is a resistor here. Here is the unknown coil. The signal is put into this uh, bridge rectifier with germanium diodes. Um, and here you see the meter circuit. Uh, this resistor is 50k, 50,000 ohm. And these two silicon diodes safeguard the meter against uh, too high voltage or too high current. So all these coils here cannot be measured, but these coils can be measured with, these, with this simple inductance meter. And also these coils. So if you develop a circuit and you need a coil in this range, you can um, use this schematic. This is the text. I hope you can read it. And this is the frequency that I use, it's 10.4 kilohertz <coughs> coming from this schematic, uh, this uh, device that was earlier on my channel. This is the frequency, 10 kilohertz. And um, here you see the meter. I now um, turn on the core of the coil. And as you can see, uh, the um, inductance varies, varies. This is the bridge again.